Hi guys, Dr. B here. Just taking a bit of a selfie. Um, it gets me thinking when I take selfies and the mobile phones and stuff. How do we get information from our mobile phones to different people? And how does that relate to the whole world of the electromagnetic spectrum? Let's take a look there. Now, when I'm Bluetoothing someone on my mobile phone, or when your car receives music, that's using what we call radio waves. When I'm receiving a telephone call, or I'm heating my stuff in the microwave, these ones are called microwaves. Then our television remotes, which we change the channel on our TV stations, on our TVs, that's infrared waves. We've also got visible light, so when I'm taking that selfie, I've got that picture, the light going into the camera is visible light. Now Miss Middleton says I look a bit orange and she says that I go on a sunbed. Well sunbeds they contain ultraviolet and that is what gives us our colour in our skin. And then finally when you go to the doctors and take an x-ray of your bones, of course they're x-rays. And finally we've got gamma rays which are released by nuclear bombs. I just want to remind you then about the properties or the key features of a wave. We've got this from which is from peak to peak. This is called the wavelength. And then we've got from this position here, the zero position, when the wave's got no energy, to the trough here. That is called the amplitude. We can also measure it the other way to the peak if we wanted to. So I just wanted to remind you of those things. Now let's see how that relates to our electromagnetic spectrum. Now this is a family of waves and they're all called electromagnetic waves. Now as we go along the electromagnetic spectrum we see that this wavelength begins to actually increase as we're going along. So as we're going from gamma all the way up to radio waves we can see that the wavelength is getting longer and it's increasing. However the frequency which is the number of waves per second that increases in the opposite direction. So you can see as you're going from radio waves to gamma rays, the number of waves per second starts to increase. Last thing I want you to remind you of is, let's imagine we're in Vegas and we're playing poker. Now you have to, have to, have to remember these for your exam. So I've come up with a cool mnemonic to remember the different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum family. And it is rich, men in Vegas use x-ray goggles. Imagine they're playing the cards, they're trying to see the other opponent's cards, so they're using these x-ray goggles to see these cards and that's what's making them win all this money. So rich stands for radio, men stands for micro, in stands for infrared, Vegas visible light, use ultraviolet, x-ray obviously is x-ray and finally goggles is gamma. Okay guys, I'm gonna need to take some more selfies. Maybe a few Snapchats, I'll catch you later.